Okay, so I have my server running, and remember, we're working in the WP content, themes, custom theme, and then index.php file. Okay, and we just added this Jumbotron, right? So if I go over here, we have this. I'm going to refresh it, and it looks like this now because we put the container inside of the Jumbotron. So now, why don't we do something cool? We're going to add some color here because the gray looks a little bit bland. And there's a cool way to add some background color here to this big call out, this Jumbotron. So if I go over to Google and search for CSS Gradient Generator, this is kind of a shorthand way of doing this. And you can go to a website. There's a bunch of different ones. You can try them out. I'm going to use this one here at colorzilla.com. So if I click that, you can kind of produce these gradients and I'm going to create a horizontal gradient. So let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to change the orientation to horizontal and I'm going to kind of move these around a little bit so that I can get a little bit cooler of an effect. So if I move that and just kind of make this a little bit off center. And then I'm going to lighten up the color a little bit and just kind of change it. Maybe go at something like that. Then I'm going to hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this code here. OK, so I've copied all of this. You could probably just highlight all of it too, but there should be a copy link for you. So I copied it. And I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to change this background to have that gradient, just to give it a little bit more of a polished and professional look. So what we're going to do just temporarily is right above this WP head function, I'm going to create a new line. I'm going to say style. So adding these HTML style tags. And always remember that your closing uh, HTML tags have these forward slashes in front of them. And I'm going to break that out into a separate line. And I'm going to target this Jumbotron div. And the way you can do that is you just type out the name of the class in there, so Jumbotron. So classes are just a way of targeting particular elements like divs or whatever. And then you want to put a dot in front of it since it's a class. Okay, so now anytime we see any element, it could be a div, it could be a span, it could be a bunch of different elements, and it has this particular class equal to Jumbotron, then the rules we set up here will apply. So let's go ahead and set the rules. So we add these curly braces like this in CSS, and you break them out in separate lines like that. This one lines up with the beginning of the class name. And then from here, we're at one tab in, kind of got to indent it, tab inward, and we'll paste in our gradient code. So let me make sure I got that over here. So copy that, and then paste it in right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab all of this inward so that it kind of lines up the way it typically should. And I'll get rid of this extra line. So remember, you can pause if you need to. But we've got this style tag in here now. And inside, we are saying, OK, for any, ex any instance of the Jumbotron, we want to add these background color CSS rules. So I'm going to save this file. Make sure your server is running. Go over here and refresh. And there we go. Now we've got that gradient applied. And if you don't like the one you've got, just go over there and kind of mess with this. You can tweak with it, tweak it and change it until you like it. And just do the same thing, copy it over. And I'm also going to add another rule down below this. So add a new line. And I'm going to say color white. And that way, the color for the font in here, this welcome to our custom site, whatever that call out will be, will show up in white. So if I refresh that, there we go. This is starting to look a little bit better now. And I'm also going to center the text in here. And the way we can do that is just right next to this class equals container, just next to the R, I'm going to hit space and then text dash center. And now anything inside of this division tag, like this H1, should show up centered. So I'm going to save it, go over here and refresh. And there we go. Now our site is centered up and it's starting to come together a little bit more.